Selfie. Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? What's going on, Gunners? The time has finally come. We're about to start working on Maddie's car. I got some fresh tape, some 3M uh, masking tape. I'm going to end up just taping up the fenders and the bumper because we're not doing a wire tuck on this car because it's so original. There hasn't even been a 10 millimeter attempted to get put on these uh, fender lines. So I'm just going to tape up these... Uh, the fenders, the bumper, and whatnot, and we're gonna get, we're gonna start getting ready to take out the single cam. I'm gonna show you guys uh, some of the easiest ways to do it. Just a heads up on the tape when you're using it. Since we want to be so delicate with this car, let me lean back. Since we want to be so delicate with this car, as I'm leaning on it, um, <laughs> we don't want this tape to ripping any paint off or anything like that. I don't think it would, but for precautionary reasons, you just take a strip and you rub it on your pants. Just get some of that glue off and then you apply it. You know what I mean? So we'll start we're st we'll start the fucking vlog now. YouTubers got the fenders and everything all taped up. It ain't the prettiest, but it's gonna get the job done. So now when we're working on it, we're not actually damaging the paint or anything like that. You know, something slips, it'll hit the paint before it hits the paint. Uh, it'll hit the tape before it hits the paint. So what I'm gonna start doing now is just bringing the car up entirely to the top and then start draining the fluids. That's the first thing we should always do whenever we're doing a motor swap. Let's get all the fluids out of the way. Let's get the Freon out of the system, let's get the antifreeze out of the radiator, and let's get the oil out of the motor. So the way that I want to attack this build is simple, right? Because I have to do a motor, I have to drop a motor, and then I have to prep the engine bay, and then I have to put a hybrid motor in, which is a K-series, right? So I want to take out the single cam, I want to prep the engine bay, but I'm not going to put the motor in it, uh, you know, right after. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rip the suspension apart and start doing that also because we have to change cambers, we have to change arms, we've got to put traction bars. So we've got to set up the chassis first before we actually install the K-Series motor. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. Yeah, if you could just see how, how clean the bottom of the car is. It still has, like, the paint on it. This car is in great shape, man. There's nothing, there's nothing dinged up on the bottom and, and never like bottomed out. But this car is, in, I mean, the brake lines look great too. This bracket is a bit rusty, but come on, man. 1995. Beautiful car. Beautiful. Got some ESM stuff on here. K2 suspension. It's gonna be a, such a fun build. But yeah, man, now we're just taking out the antifreeze or whatever the hell it had in it. Some kind of 50-50 mix. Set it up right there on the same stand. Kind of try to keep the oil and the water separated. But yeah, we're getting to it, man. Yeah, so while that's draining, I'm just gonna get a cutting wheel and uh, get these guys off here off of the exhaust, uh, from the header to the exhaust. So, there's no way I'm going to try to kill myself and unbolt this. It's too rusted. It's too gone. So, I'm just going to cut these off. So, yeah, man. Make sure you got some eye cover, some eyewear. I got this mask right here also. I use it every day whenever I'm cutting something or anything in, in that nature. So, I'm going to cut off these bolts now.
עד ש... What you got? Now me and Forty are just popping off the wheels. Just getting this car ready. These these hubcaps are in great condition too. It's crazy. Whoop! There goes that one. We'll do as much as we can. We'll do as much as we can down here until we actually have to go up. And start unbolting things. Now I'm just so. taking off the. Now I'm just you know just starting on the ball joints and stuff. I normally don't like this tool because it rips up the boots, but we're changing our ball joints anyway. So this tool does work good. It just sucks with the trying to keep the ball uh, the rubbers all good. If that makes any sense. AK-47 Oh shit, who you fighting today bro? Who you fighting today? Throw a swing! Throw a swing! Yeah! 47 kill it! Watch it 40! So we're draining uh, transmission fluid. I didn't think it was gonna leak out of the... Um, I didn't think it was gonna leak out of the... Uh, where the axles come out. So... It did, so we'll just drain the transmission fluid. Like a fucking magician here. Fuck me, huh? Look at this. Look at this. And it ain't edited. You know, man. You borracho. You drinking last night? Yeah, yeah. What are you drinking? Hey, coffee. All right, guys. So we got the axles out. They're all sitting right there nice and pretty. The swap is actually sold. So what you, what you don't want to do when you're doing a swap and you started from the bottom is take off the shift linkage. Leave that for damn near the com damn near the end because you don't want to go up and down on a lift if you're working on a lift or, or if you're jacking your car up in a driveway and this guy keeps hitting the floor and getting in your way. So we're pretty much done on the bottom. That's it. We drain fluids and pop the axles off. That's give or take. We'll take it out with the header. We don't have to take off that bracket and we're good to go. So we'll start working on the top of the car now and see how that goes. I'm gonna show you all the tens to take off. So now I got my boy 40 working with me. We put a 10 on the gun and we're just gonna take off the 10 millimeters we need to to get it off the chassis. So you're gonna take this one off right here. Nice. Yep, we got a box built for all the screws so we don't lose nothing. You got another 10 right here for the wire harness. You're going to rip that off. And then any other 10 millimeter you see attached to the motor, which is like this guy right here, you're just going to completely get rid of that. Guys, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to work on some single cams, but this, this, this part of the thread, this part of the vlog, this part of the build is for the guys that don't know. So just bear with us. Let's get everyone through it. You're going to rip this 10 off right here too. Sacoleta. And that's it. Enjoy, man. You gotta do the bottom holes, Papa. Wake up, man. Wake up, man. You probably gotta do it. From, you gotta do it from the bottom. It's easier. I'm gonna pop off these clips on the harness here on this side, and then uh, we're not gonna end up using this bracket. So we're just gonna remove that. We're gonna start just detaching everything from the chassis onto the motor, the brake booster, any vacuum lines, the fuel system, um, and that side of the harness. And that's pretty much it. We'll be left with motor mounts to do. We'll drain some fluids out of the power steering, but we're coming along here, man. So yeah, now we're just taking off the harness off the actual chassis. Uh, we got the radiator out. So um, yeah, we're in good shape. Nothing's really been giving us a headache. We're trying to remove all the 10 millimeters from the ground. And that's it. Wh where are you pointing the camera? Are you pointing at me? Yeah, when I talk, you got to point it at me. What kind of cameraman are you, bro? You hanging it or you trabajo today? No. <laughs> you trabajo or hanging it? What? So yeah, we got to luck out and um, there wasn't any antifreeze in the line so we could just pop off these tens. I tested it through the valves on top. Hopefully I'm right or else this is about to be on candid camera right now. Okay, that's one. Here we 
goes the low side. God, I hope I'm right. Yeah, thank you. Oh, that would that would have sucked. But yeah, we got the antifreeze off. This motor's damn near out. Um, power steering fluid, motor mounts, and drop it. That's it. Okay, so I got a torque mount holding this guy up with the two 14s on the bottom. I'm just going. I'm just going to go ahead. And since we're in this vicinity and we just want to work nice and easy, I'm going to take off the transmission motor mount. You guys know how to do that. Come over here, 40. Look. You always get that one guy that wants to be stuck. Just pull, just thread it back in. Move your wrench. Slap that guy on. That was the nut. This is the bolt. Nothing changes. I got all my bolts saved. You never know. You see, you know we're going to K-Series and we're using nice things, but you never know when you need these. these. These are the things that I've been trying to tell you about holding on to bolts like this. You clean the heads up on these and you can reuse them. That's it. Uh, the way that I took out that bitch pin onto the shift linkage that everyone dreads, very easy. Took it off in a second. I got a punch set from Snap on here. This guy right here did it. Perfect. Perfect fit. Went through, didn't get stuck. That's it. This motor's halfway up. Take off the shift linkage. Two motor mounts on the side. Get the dolly under it. And all set. All right, guys, we got our dolly ready. About to bring the car down. Is the lift unlocked? Unlock the lift. We're going down. Set the motor on here. Unbolt the side uh, motor mount and we're dropping it. I can reach from right here on the bottom and grab the two 14s. I kind of made it hard thinking about it now. I should have just left that motor mount on, but look at that. You live and you learn. I'm just trying to show you the easier way. Everything is coming off perfectly fine. Nothing is crazy rusted, but we're about to drop it in a second. All right, guys, so we got one motor mount left. We're going to drop this out. Forty's going to work the lift. We're going to take this motor out right now. So you got your three 14s that are holding it. You might run into the issue. You might run into the issue where we have to take the entire motor mount out. So hopefully that's not it. Saving our bolts. Okay, 40, go up. Slow. Nice and easy. Oh, yeah. Easy, 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 champ. Relax. Okay, go up. Nice and easy. Don't move it. Yep, it's stuck on the mount. Did you No. No? Alright, hold this back right here. Uh -huh. Oh, he beat. Yeah, watch it, watch it. Go down a little bit. Okay. Oh, no, no, don't touch it. Okay. 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 We're ready to go. Okay. Up. Go. 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 
Stop, stop. Left the water hose. One manga, no? Yeah, that's that one. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, bud. else today. I'm going to end this vlog now. I'm not trying to be a hero. That's it. I took the motor out. That's it. That's it, 40. I took the motor out. We're done. Me and 40, we kicked ass. Then tomorrow we start prepping the engine bay. What are we taking off, etc, etc. But for now, I'm done for the day. I got all my bolts. I didn't lose anything. All my tools, I'll clean and put them back. And this motor sold. So tomorrow we'll start prepping the chassis. We'll take off the suspension, we'll take off the stock exhaust, and then we'll move on from there. But if you work nice and neat, this is exactly how it should come out. There's nothing stripped. There's nothing beat up. You know what I mean? Everything's intact. You hope you guys are enjoying the channel, man. In the comments, let me know what else you guys would like to see. Because I really would like to cut a car up and show you guys how to do some lightweight reduction but I need some feedback in the comments so I can understand where the where the course of this channel is going you guys really just want to watch me go fucking race every other weekend I think that's boring I rather much educate you guys on how to properly work and what you need to make your life easier but enjoy yourself man let me end this vlog looking at you hold on, hold on. let me get my camera right what we got here but yeah, and got guys, enjoy yourself, have fun, but do it safely. Do it smart. I didn't break a sweat today and I got a hoodie on in 80 degree weather. You know what I mean? So that's basically it. Say peace out, 40. Hit the baby killer 47. The baby killer? That one? Yeah. <laughs> Say keep gunning, baby. <laughs> God bless you guys, man. Comment, like, subscribe. Tell your boys about it. Tell your people about it, man. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate all the positive comments, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the last vlog. It was sick. Uh, big shout out to my boy Derek, uh, Jamie Marsh, Jerry, Spoon, Miz, uh, Jimmy Oaks, the whole crew in Wallingford. Thank you for having me, man. Thank you for showing me so much love. You guys have been great since the day I've met you. So, yeah, the build continues.